What up, world? Welcome back to Ill Reviews. I like most people, you know what I'm saying? All hip hop heads just got through watching the interview between Nicki Minaj and Joe Budden, a conversation, you feel me? Before I get into what I thought about the interview, I do want to say something how I feel like it's so dope to see um, our people rocking with our platforms, you know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to the Tim Westwoods of the world, um, the LA Leakers, Adam22. But uh, this is our culture. Like I was telling somebody in the YouTube comments, um, probably like a month ago, this is our life, your entertainment, and sometimes it's our trauma, your entertainment. So it's it's very important to me, like I said in that video a long time ago, that we make sure we make money off our culture. You feel me? So when you see Kanye at Drink Champs or you see Game at Drink Champs, like that's big for the culture. That validates them platforms, that brings money, more money to them platforms, more jobs, and I feel like we need that because it was a period, and it still goes on where. The creators of the culture are not making the most money off the culture. And I think we living in a shift right now where that's about to change, you feel me? So that's why I love seeing this right now. Uh, Nicki Minaj is on the Joe Budden podcast, you know what I'm saying? And I know they had their differences, but it seems of course they cleared it up. And uh, yeah, they had a lot of interesting stuff they wanted to talk about. One of the things I like when Nicki Minaj spoke about was uh, body image, you know what I'm saying? When she, when she came in the game, she was like, um, she heard Lil Wayne and them talking about they like girls with fat asses and stuff, so she felt like she had to get fatter asses and, and titties and stuff like that. And um, that's a real conversation. I personally am in a position where I'm about to be most likely um, a, set, a stepfather to a young girl for the second time in my life. You know what I'm saying? So um, I've seen how those things can affect a young girl's mind. Like Nicki Minaj saying, like, even though you don't want to be a role model, as soon as you start selling that many records, you become a role model. And uh, I think that's important that we take notice of that. And what I'm discovering though, and I'm, I'm, I'm in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? If you've been following the show, you know I'm, I'm being an ATL. And it's a lot, I think it's a lot of pressure on females to get their body done. But I be around them and it's so much of that around Atlanta, I'm really sick of it. Like, when I be seeing that, I be like, yo, cause, I'ma just say it, them girls be having a trash attitude. You feel me? Like a trash attitude. They be on some like, who are you again type shit. And I mean, I ain't popping like that in Atlanta, but I do got my name on some trophies. Like I ain't never not had a, uh, a car, you know what I'm saying? Like I be out here, but my thing is like, it's like they doing that, but they just, a lot of them be just having trash personalities. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? I got to the point where I like, I really just rock with somebody regular, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, to me, they be a little bit more interesting. They do more things in life, bigger perspective, better conversation, but that's just me. But I don't like this narrative of they painting, like making girls feel like um, they gotta do all this extra shit because it's really not necessary, you feel me? And that's what I'm gonna be telling my stepdaughter, like, yo, you really ain't gotta do all that. You know what I'm saying? If she choose to, she choose to, but I don't want her to feel that pressure. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all you become. And my my um experience these chicks mainly want to talk about just their hair their nails and what you gonna do for me you feel me so i'll be steering clear from y'all come to atlanta y'all see you know what i'm saying i'm just telling you what i've been through but back to the interview you know what I'm saying? she also Nicki minaj also brought up the fact about uh rap lyrics influence and i love the fact that she chose to stay on the side of bars i'm the exact same way if you listen to my music you'll be able to hear bars metaphors subject matter you know what i'm saying like i love the fact that she stuck to her gun she even said it came to a point where they was trying to tell her um that she can rap surface and she was like nah i'm so glad she did that because now i've been doing this review channel now for four years and when i say i'll be doing these reviews listening to these female rappers and they all rap about the exact same shit um, let's just say I'm thankful for Rico Nasty and Rhapsody. And it might be another one that I'm missing. But yo, come on, man. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? And I know most females ain't thinking about bars and stuff like that, but once you start, everybody starts sounding the same, like she said, you become faceless. You know what I'm saying? She made a very good point with that. I also like on that one part uh, during the interview, she said something. She said something like, um, if you're not experiencing real life and you're not experiencing real love what are you rapping about 
You know what I'm saying? And that goes back to my uh, Surface Rappers skit that I put out like three weeks ago. Check that out. That's what it's about. Like she said, if you're not experiencing real life, you're not experiencing real love, what are you rapping about? Then she said, they both said, Joe Buddy and her said, a bunch of nothing. That's why the music don't last that long. You feel me? This was an important conversation. I hope people are really listening and catching it. Because this is, hip hop is uh, uh, the youngest genre of music. And if, if we fuck it up, it's not going to be here. You know what I'm saying? You got to have stuff in place to make this music last long or to be gone. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. That's just how I feel. Another thing she spoke on was uh, her dreams to become a mogul. Um, and she said why there's no uh, male, female version of Jay-Z. And I think that's very true. I ain't even thinking about that. And um, I think she's in a position to become that. You feel me? She said she got slowed down, of course, from COVID. COVID. She got slowed down because she got pregnant, got married. But now I think Nicki Minaj is in a position to become like a true mogul. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? The next female rapper um, to become a billionaire is most likely it, it could be Nicki Minaj or it could be Cardi B. I don't know, but um, I think that definitely needs to happen. You feel me? That would be excellent for the culture. That would be a really, really good look. One thing I was shocked about, though, was when she said she regretted releasing the Queen album because it wasn't presented right. Now, I thought the Queen album was very, very, very excellent. But she said she wasn't even in the right frame of mind when she was making it. And I was like, I can't tell because I thought that that joint was straight. But I think it's because all the drama that was happening between her and uh, academics. And she was popping off on a lot of people on Queen Radio. I think all that made her feel like it. But the music to me was good. Tell me how y'all feel about the release of Queen album. Do y'all think she should have waited because she said she shouldn't even put it out? And I was like, nah, I mean, I think every fan of Nicki Minaj is kind of glad that album came out. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, at the end of the day, Nicki Minaj let people know she's the rapper's rapper. Um, she's about bars, you feel me? Um, she don't really uh, really rock with the idea of a cookie cutter female rapper. Um, she was like, of course, that don't lead to longevity. And um, then she also spoke on her dreams of fashion and how she... Uh, want to do more in fashion, but she says she's not getting those looks, man. This is a very important interview. Um, I think Kanye West is inspiring a lot of people to speak out. He's in definitely inspired me after watching that uh, Genius documentary. Um, you got to just speak out, you know what I'm saying? You just got to call a spade a spade, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, creators of a culture, um, influencers, if you're doing it at that level, you got to be let it, let it be known, you feel me? Um, whether Kanye West pulls off everything he, he wants to pull off, the inspiration that he gave the rest of the culture, he might not know it, really sparked a new wave. He's been sparking waves, but I hope he realizes that he got a lot of people motivated to speak their truth out loud and not be quiet about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and Nicki Minaj, you could tell the growth. And then she also said uh, she got some stuff coming. Uh, she got a documentary coming. Um, she got a movie coming. Uh, she said she's, I think she said she sold Queen Radio to a no, new company. So that's in the works. So yeah, I mean, this was a very, very important interview. If you haven't seen it, I say you got to go watch it. Probably one of the most important interviews uh, of this year, um, next to the Kanye interview on Drink Champs. Um, but yeah, man, the culture is moving in a, in a new direction. You feel me? Um, it's waking up and it's like, everybody's realizing what it is you feel me and this is a good thing and uh i really dug this interview what was your favorite parts and uh we are discussing the comments till next time y'all treat each other right it's a cold world i'm just trying to heat it up this has been ear reviews i'm out yeah I'm real, it's Blake Foo, drunk, still banking, banking. put me on probation, uh -huh. you I'm still drinking, cuz, sipping, motherfucker, I'm yeah. ill, motherfucker, I'm ill, looking like a highlight, uh -huh. wrist like tie-dye, yeah. go from outer space, you can